Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about timers. Before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. So timers, timers is one of the important concept in PLC. Even you can find the timer application in our home appliances also. For example, take an induction stove or automatic washing machine or even in television or even in TV remote, you can find the timer features. So what is the working of timer in the induction stove? You can put that into the, you know, if you are uh, uh, cooking something and you have to give a time delay so that after some time, it, will, it should automatically turn off. So you can set a timer and uh, after that particular uh, time duration automatically it will get turned on. So same like in washing machine also you can set a timer for the whole operation. So for example you can set a timer for uh, 30, 30 minutes and when you press the start button the timer will get started. So after in this 30 minutes this washing uh, you know the working is completely uh, splitted and it will be done before this 30 minutes. So even in uh, TV also, you can use timer to put a TV on sleep mode. So like that, in home appliances also, we can find the working of and, uh, you know, the usage of timers. So, but in industries, timers are mandatory. To write a logic for the big, big machines, timers are mandatory. It is used to create a time duration or time delay between two events. So let's see what is this timer. So timers in PLC are used to create a time delay between two events. So it will help the programmer to write a logic to turn off or turn, turn off or on the equipments automatically with some other event. So if this happens, you, you know, uh, the next step have to be turned on automatically means you can make use of the timer. So that's it. Types of timers here. So on delay timer, off delay timer and return to timers. So what is on delay timer? So the name itself implies that it is creating a time delay to turn on a process. For example, you are turning on a switch for the motor. But you don't want your motor to turn on immediately but after 30 or 40 seconds. So in between this, you are turning on after 40 seconds only your motor have to turn on means you can make use of this on delay timer. So, if you put an on delay timer in between the switch and the motor, what will happen? When you turn on, this, turn on the switch, automatically timer will turn on. So, timer will start counting like 0, 1, 2, 3 like that and it will reach up to 40 seconds. After 40 seconds, it will give one trigger to the motor so that motor will get turned on. So, this is on delay timer. And what may be the off delay timer? Yes, obviously it is used to give the time delay for to turn on an output device or whatever whatever you want to turn off you can turn off so how it will works let's take the same example you have a switch you have a motor you are turning on the uh, uh, switch your motor is running fine but you are going to turn off the switch but you don't want your motor to turn off immediately but after some time so in this case what you can do you can make use of the off delay timer and you can utilize the features of timer of uh, you know timer of delay and you can turn off the motor after some seconds so that is timer of delay so what is this return to so the word return to means it retains so i'll, I'll just uh, go back to on delay and off delay timer so these two timers are non return to timers so what is this non return to means for example you are turning on the switch and uh, you have a motor over there and in between you have a timer on so turning on the switch a timer started running and started counting from 0 to 40 seconds so in between you are turning off your switch what will happen means your timer will go back to zero and timer will also get off timer will go off and your timer will go back to zero Again, if you turn on a switch, it will start counting from 0 only. So, it will not start counting with where it stops. So, those type of timers are called as retentive, non-retentive and retentive timers can be able to retain the value. So, anyhow, I am going to explain this uh, non-retentive and retentive concept using 
CX programmer. Okay, that time you, I, I hope you will get more clarity on that. Right? So, I will meet you in the next session with what are the types of timers we are going to use in CX programmer. So, before that, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.